Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a different video for you guys. I'm starting a new series called Tea Time where we're gonna sit and spill the tea. So I have my tea here ready to go. And so today we're gonna be talking about things that need to be left in 2018. So I just wanna like go ahead and start because it's 2019 and some of this stuff is just gotta go and I know y'all is gonna agree with me on this so disclaimer some of this stuff is like yeah and some of this stuff is just a joke um I'm not actually saying that like you um you do you if you want to keep continuing doing this stuff in 2019 in 2019 go ahead but some of this I'm just like can't let's let's move on that trend is over but you know do what you do boo all right, so the first thing that should be left in 2018 is the Fortnite dance, okay? So number one, your little shoot, shoot. Okay, that's a that's an actual dance that was before Fortnite and Fortnite put it into their video game. And same with flossing, okay? That was, um, that was a, it's called flossing, ladies and gentlemen, where you know you go from side to side, okay? That has been a thing for a while. And you can continue to shoot and floss all you want, but we're not going to call it the Fortnite dance anymore, okay? The second thing that needs to be left in 2018 is uh, these sexy Snapchats. Um, I don't want to hear anything about your sexual relations on Snapchat. That is for you and your person and whoever is whoever, but I personally do not care whether you are looking for somebody or you just did something or you're alone I don't care so you keep that to yourself every single day I don't need to see that you want a boyfriend or a girlfriend I, I don't care keep that to yourself number three ASMR videos I know this is a trend but I don't want to hear you eat that's that's disgusting okay Eat your pickle, I can handle the first crunch or some chips, but I don't want to hear you slurping food. I think that is so disgusting. Now I'm all for a good mukbang, mukbang, I'm, I'm for it. Let's chit chat while you eat, I'm cool. But you putting a microphone to your mouth while you're eating is so gross. I can't stand it. I don't like to hear people eat regularly at the dinner table like you can ask my family I don't like hearing people chew so why are people making videos of just eating how many how many people do you know that like to just hear people chew like if you go out to dinner with your friends with your boo with your mom do you want to hear them chewing no so why are you gonna watch somebody on the internet just eating random things like that is so gross I don't want to hear it number Number four of things that should be left in 2018 is really hard classes that don't relate to your major. If you, so I am in college, I'm in my junior year, and I take so many classes that I'm not gonna use. I'm a management and marketing major and a psych minor, and I've taken science classes, I've taken a religion class, I've taken a music class, but all of those are electives. I get it. You want a, well, a well-rounded student. I got to choose which of those subjects I wanted to take. But why are you teaching me all of this analytical tax information when I know I'm going to hire an accountant to do my taxes? Why am I taking a class in Excel when if I want to build a website, I'm going to go get a BIT major, a computer science major to go build my website for me? I know I'm not good at that. So why am I being forced to take classes that I know I'm not going to do well? You're setting me up for failure, actually. I'd rather learn how to become a social media queen than learn how to um, add a button to Excel. Because that's just not something that I know I'm going to be doing in my life. If I needed that, I'd get somebody who already knows how to do it. That's their job. That's who I would get to do it. So why am I wasting my money? Number five. I don't know why it's still a thing, but you need to stop sending me Snapchats that are on your story, okay? 
I'm gonna see it on your story you're more likely than not so why are you sending to me individually and it's normally not something that you really want a response from because you're posting it on your story so either send it to me directly and don't post it on your story or post it on your story and I have some if I have something to say about it I'll swipe up and send you a message other than that I don't want it don't send me snaps of just your face I don't I don't want it what am I supposed to respond you're just you're sitting in your bed oh that's that's absolutely great I what do you want me what do you want me to do you're in your car how am I supposed to respond to a picture of your face? I don't, I don't understand. Okay. If I'm talking to you, I, we can't carry a conversation of just your face. If you're my friend and we're keeping up streaks, I want to have a conversation streak. I don't want just morning snap, night snap. Me and my best friend have a Snapchat streak of over 750 days, but we are conversating. We're not just... It's, it's never just pictures of faces. At least put a filter on or something. Like, gosh. This next one might offend some of you. But I need calling everybody sis to stay in 2018. Okay, everybody is not your sister. We're going to leave that to James Charles to go around calling everybody sister. Um, I have two brothers and they're the only people that I am sister to. So I don't need everyone to say, hey sister, what's good sister, how you doing sister? No, and sis isn't any better. You can do sis with the occasional, oh, what's, ooh, you popping sis, you know, something like that. But sister this, sister that, sister, no, no. That is, leave it to James Charles. He's here for the sister sleigh, but I'm not. I'm not your sister. So don't call me sister, don't call me sis, don't call random strangers that, they're not your blood relative, we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave it there, okay? Okay. Next, next is slightly more serious, actually it's a lot more serious, um, in 2019 we need to leave all this sexist and racist bullcrap in the past. It is 2019, there should not be this much hate like this in the world. And at least in America, there is a lot of um, tension right now. And we see it in the news. We see it in everyday things. We have movies about it. And we just really need to move on uh, from dis disliking people just because of their gender or their race or their sexual orientation. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect you in any way. They're, like, it doesn't matter if... I can't even put it into words without having a whole rant on it but women deserve equality we deserve equal pay just as much as men if we're doing the same exact work as they are that's that's is what it is and I'm here to say that like feminism isn't saying that women are better than men we just want equality we deserve as much pay as a man does and racism I, I don't even know how to continue to explain like yes it's there if you don't think it isn't I think you need to go read the book The Hate You Give because I think it is just eye-opening if you don't understand some of the stuff going on in America but anyway before I continue just to go off on this um, let us love everybody for who they are on the inside and for the outside and if you don't like him, don't just go about your business because they don't affect you in any way. And finally, the last thing that we need to leave in 2018 is negativity. Yes. Uh, 2019 is going to be our year, everybody. Um, we're going to be happy, healthy, living our best lives because that's what we do here. Uh, we're all for positivity. And we don't need negativity. Leave it behind. Grow from I mean, mistakes and hard times that happened in 2018. And let's move forward and make 2019 the best year yet. Uh, nothing can hold you back. It's a fresh new start. You want to start a YouTube channel? Do that. Don't, don't let the haters stop you. 
I have been so nervous for so many years and that's why my channel is uh, so sporadically posted on stuff. But 2019 is my year to continue to work on it. If you had a bad breakup in 2018, leave him or her in the past and move on. You might find the love of your life next this year. So you know, we're leaving all the toxic people, all the negativity, it's gone. It's behind us. 2019, time for a fresh start. Alright, so those are all the things that I think should be left behind in 2018. Um, they're not all, you know, really that serious as you can tell or whatever. But let me know what you think deserves to be left in 2018. And I, I'm just, I'm curious. I'm, I'm very curious as to what you guys want to see left in the past and what you think 2019 has to bring for you. Um, personally for me, 2018 was a really good year for me. I learned a lot about myself. I had an amazing summer job that I grew so much from and I met amazing people. Um, I started my nail shop online, my custom press on nail shop. I'll have the link below in the description below. Um, I don't even, I don't even know. I began, I just grew so much as a person in 2018. Um, and it was one of the best years that I've had in a long time, but I know it's not everyone. A lot of people are like, can't wait for 2018 to be over. This year was sh sh crappy. People were saying 2018 was crappy. Not my 2018. My 2018 was pretty good. Yeah, there were all low dips in there, but the positive outweighed the negative. So I'm bringing that energy into 2019, and we're just going to continue to prosper and grow. Anyway, so I hope you guys liked this video, and... If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and let me know and I can continue to have more tea time videos because I just love to rant. So if you did, give it a thumbs up, make sure you um, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what videos you want to see and what you want to see left in 2018 and make sure you hit the little notification bell um, so you get notified every time that I upload because it's going to be happening more regularly in 2019, I promise. I promise. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great start to the new year and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.